Assalamualaikum. In the 21st century, the progress of world industrialization seems to be dependent entirely on the need for vocational, technical knowledge and skills. Department of Polytechnic Education is committed to support the quality of implementation in technical and vocational education, TVET, and therefore, Blended learning has been carried out to upgrade the quality of TVET education. This video shows the experiences of lecturer using only face-to-face -face teaching approach in explaining on lab procedure. It can be observed that students are met to see passively why lecturers deliver lecture. There are many disadvantages listed. For now, I shall limit myself to only three. First, lecturers emphasize on presentation instead of practical session. Second, students' focus is set in wrong direction in taking note rather than understanding and absorbing new concepts. Third, a lecturer's lecture is generally one size fits all. Not every student has the same pace of learning. While some students can follow the lecture with convenience, most of the others require time to show on the information that they are getting. How to do this? I don't know how to start the experiment. Students will not be able to imagine what to do in practical session by just listening to step-by-step -step procedure during a lecture. Each student has a different learning style. You can't expect a kinesthetic learner to master a concept by just listening to a lecture. If a visual learner gets worse grade than an auditory learner, it doesn't mean the format is slow or dull. It might simply mean the classroom strategy was designed for the auditory learner only. So, the face-to-face -face learning method is far from perfect. The responsibility falls on the shoulder of us educationally to make present learning methods more effective. You see them everywhere. They were all born after 1980 when social digital technologies came online. They all have access to network digital technologies and they all have a skill to use those technologies. They study, work, write and interact with each other in ways that are very different from the way that you did growing up. Rapidly involving education landscape requires us to combine technology to customize student learning. To get a good approach in teaching technique, a combination of online learning and traditional teaching face-to-face -face has been implemented in polytechnics. Combining the best teaching methods we produce blended learning. What is a blended learning and how does it look and operate different from a regular lecture? Blended learning are those that utilize online content and tools as integral aspects of instruction. Why blended learning? Blended learning has been carried out to upgrade the quality of education in terms of First, more flexibility for both students and lecturer. Second, varied ways for students to engage in and demonstrate their learning. Third, students prefer courses that have some online components. Fourth, both lecturer and student have the opportunity to develop their technology skills. How we implement blended learning can take many forms based on your specific teaching goals and challenges. Here, we want to share how we implement blended learning in our practical session for the engineering science course. Engineering science is an applied science with theoretical concepts and practical learning sessions that can be applied in the engineering field. In practical session, we apply traditional and online learning. 
for the purpose of facilitating lesson, we use online video, CDOS, YouTube, and online link like Google Docs. This scene shows the lecturer asking student to view and understand the video or practical procedure through CDOS or YouTube before doing practical. Face-to-face -face methods is also applied in a way to explain and help students to understand the implementation of blended learning through practical sessions. In line with the implementation of blended learning, a student can view and understand the given procedure through online media such as computer labs, library, canteens and rest areas. So, lecturer can use online media in order to add instructions because instruction sometimes occur synchronously or asynchronously are able to make choices regarding their learning that is primarily determined by the lecturer. They have often taken active roles in their learning and are able to choose any learning medium, either textbook, video or online which is their best learning. As shown in this scene, students record the experiment results online using Google Doc. Then, the lecturer can check and inform students if there is any correction to be made. So, work progress can be reviewed easily via online at any time by the lecturer and students. This scene shows how practical session is conducted after the full implementation of blended learning. It generates positive impact on students and lecturers. There are more time to interact with students, more collaboration among students, and students are more focused while doing the experiment. The lecturer can start downloading full lab report which has been uploaded by students to CDOS. It can facilitate practical session learning. So, other lecturers can embrace this idea to implement blended learning during practical sessions. Finally, it is important to realize that the implementation of effective teaching and learning, whether face-to-face, -face, blended or online, never ends. An effective blended learning implementation will eventually become integrated into the regular teaching and learning of the polytechnic and not talk of as something separate or different. The culture embraces change and innovation and will soon become part of the fabric of the polytechnic. The end result is a community of learners where all students are engaged and achieving at high levels.